PBC, or primary biliary cholangitis, is an immune disease where your own body's immune system targets the very tiny bile ducts for destruction. And over time, destroying those little tiny bile ducts is like cutting down all the side streets of the liver until you're eventually hitting the big streets. And with that poor bile flow, you can get cirrhosis, um, ongoing liver damage, and be at risk for liver-related complications. PBC is considered a rare disease. It tends to occur in women, so 90% of people are women, although 10% are still men, so being a man does not exclude you from this. It can run in families, especially in families where there's other immune diseases like thyroid problems, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. Many liver diseases are silent. The liver really doesn't have a mechanism of complaining until extensive damage is done. But when you think about PBC, two of the most common things we hear are fatigue and itching. PBC tends to be slow. Now, no one always follows the instruction manual, so there are a subset of individuals that do have more aggressive disease, but typically it's a very slow-moving disease. It's really important to emphasize that primary biliary cholangitis is a treatable disease. Treatment can prevent progression, but if you don't have early recognition or if you um, your therapy is not working or you're not taking treatment, it will slowly progress to end-stage liver disease where you're at risk for cirrhosis, complications of cirrhosis, liver cancer, and might even have discussions about things like liver transplantation. We are learning more and more about PBC, and now we know it's incredibly important to have a subnormal or even below the normal limit, Billy Rubin, and your alkaline phosphatase should be as normal as possible. It's also important to recognize that the medications might improve or stabilize the disease, but not improve quality of life. So when we talk about the quality of life, itching and fatigue are two of the most important things that our patients with PBC complain about, and treatment doesn't always improve these. It's really important to understand that things that are chronically active drain a person. So if you're constantly itchy or you're always fatigued, it's gonna affect every aspect of your life. And people who chronically don't feel well are prone to depression, irritability, um, being sleep deprived. So it's really important to not dismiss these symptoms even if you can't fix them very easily.